More than 200 students in Port Coquitlam are out of class this week after a suspicious fire destroyed their school over the weekend. As CTV's Ben Milger reports, the district is scrambling to set up a temporary solution as the community rallies around the affected families. Smoke still rises from the rubble more than two days after a fire consumed Hazel Trembath Elementary School. The fire that began in the early hours Saturday has displaced more than 200 young students and investigators believe it was deliberately set. What has happened here uh, is just you know, truly disgraceful um, and I don't know how that person uh, or that group of people could look themselves in the mirror. The city of Port Coquitlam has set up these donation bins at community centers so people can drop off new supplies to help the students get back on track as quickly as possible. It's really difficult, that loss. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, teachers, as we all know, teachers dig out of their own pocket all the time to supply their uh, classrooms. Eventually, classes will resume here at Winslow Centre, a decommissioned school that now serves as a district facility about six kilometres away in Coquitlam. The place was buzzing with activity Monday as district staff coordinated with work crews tasked with getting the building ready to host classes. Plans for moving the students into their temporary school are still being finalized. But Mayor Brad West, who has a son that attended here, says he believes the school district will provide bus transportation from this location to Coquitlam. Given what was available and the, um, and the ability to keep people together, um, I know we're all really appreciative of that. Both Poco Fire and Coquitlam RCMP declined interview requests, but police could be seen at the school Monday as the community tries to make sense of this alleged arson. Schools are such vital parts of our community and and you're attacking kids and I just I can't comprehend that. It's not clear when students will be back in class at their temporary location, but the district hopes to get them there as soon as possible. Ben Milger, CTV News, Port Coquitlam.